This is Dimorphodon. We can deduce from its fossils that it had the muscles needed to beat its wings. And computer imagery can show us what it must have looked like. Dimorphodon was one of the first large animals ever to travel by air 200 million years ago. It belonged to a group called the pterosaurs, the winged reptiles. It was probably a forest dweller and a descendant of a tree-living glider. This gliding ancestor might have had wings like those of Dracos that were made of skin and perhaps extended from its fingers down to its ankles. But pterosaurs had evolved larger wings with a hugely elongated fourth finger. The wing membrane was strengthened internally by thin rods of a stiffer tissue. There were muscle fibers too that enabled it to modify its contours as it flew. Looking at the wings in section reveals the secret of their efficiency. They have a rounded front edge and a sharp back edge, a shape known as an aerofoil. It works by forcing the air flowing above the wing to speed up. This faster air has a lower pressure, and the wing is sucked upwards. The larger the surface area of the wing, the greater lift it can produce. So it seems certain that pterosaurs were very competent flyers. And judging from their teeth, it seems likely that many fed on the great variety of insects that had preceded them into the air. Insects had had the skies to themselves for around 100 million years. Now, bigger creatures had arrived, reptiles.